Welcome back to the podcast. I am your host, Mr. Made Open the Building. I ain't said that in a while, but I'm here now. You're so, so hype. I'm amped. I'm not gonna lie. Let me do it. Let me get it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Why Cole had to be nah she needed to be sleep. I should have had her do it. Um, I am the lovely snuggled up co-host, Mrs. Made Over. We want to thank y'all for tuning in. Um, this has been a interesting oh. Christmas. Oh god, it smells type of thing. Oh, it smells oh. No, you're welcome. I know. It All good. right, stay okay. focused. Sorry. Focus. Um, it's been a great Christmas. I'm not gonna lie. Um, close. Uh, of course, I hope you guys will go check out the video that we have <laughs> uploaded. <laughs> See how my life is. Um, every day, three women in the house. Just keep me in prayer. Um, <laughs> what was your most empty, like most like standout part of Christmas? Like what? What did you take from it? What I mean, like I know it was like a lot going it was on that a day. A lot going on that day. But what if you could narrow it down to two? I'll just give you two things of what is your favorite. What was my favorite? Yeah. Um. I actually enjoy the fact that the girls are big enough now to like open their gifts and then they understand the concept behind it. Mm. Like the girls are, you know, seven and four. So they can pretty much open things on their own. So to see them go from like us having to open everything and kind of prep and come on and rip the paper. It's like now they just... Yeah. <laughs> So the eagerness, no bars, boy. yeah. So the eagerness of that, um, in conjunction with your expression, was pretty good too this year. My expression is good every year. No, your expression was very about, different. Like, I think I got you. Okay, sorry, y'all. This is my blanket. I have a new blanket for those people that are riding and listening, and it has leaves because I like fall. But yeah, I you know I, I love watching you it's guys. It's the third gift. It's my gift number three. So I have gift number three. It all matches too. Matches my other cardigan. Maybe I'm going in a color scheme. Maybe he's going in a color scheme. Actually, it kind of fit in with everything. But anyway, um, yeah, just the idea behind like you know I love gifting y'all anyway. Like. Right. I love seeing just the joy on you all say so. Which is good. It was um, it was a little bit different. I mean, it was it was different, not because of COVID, but I think we've now um, we now understand the importance of building memories with our own within our own immediate family. Yeah. So because of that, it makes everything more intentional. Yeah. So. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I had a blast. <laughs> I know, like, to the lead up of it, because I'm, I'm so sorry, conscious mm-hmm. of the future now. Like, man, I travel there quite often. Like, right. It's it's my place of like motivation. It's my mm-hmm. place of um, no matter what it looks like, keep pushing. Right. And but. My ordeal now is to really just, like I said, play. I mean, memories. Yeah. I don't want to be the father that doesn't take advantage of creating memories. Yeah. Because when I look back at my childhood and I try to figure out, okay, what <laughs> gifts did I have you when I was remember. this age or that age? But I remember the memories of coming down the stairs yeah. and seeing gifts. Like, that was the memory. Yeah. The, the whole atmosphere of Christmas mm-hmm. and you know us trying to figure out and see what mm-hmm. mom is sneaking in you know like did y'all shake gifts no we shake gifts mom uh, I gifts. shake Close gifts no gifts yeah no I shake gifts and then my mom tells us to go to bed early and like not being able to sleep as a child 
I went to sleep, I think. I don't know. I, mean, I eventually went to sleep, but it was hard because we were so excited about yeah. the next day. You yeah. Know, and, and our girls are a little bit different. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bless their heart. Oh, Jesus, that fell. I thought somebody was, oh, about to run. Sorry, y'all. Run away. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> it just slid down my shoulder. <laughs> sorry, my people who are driving. Oh, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, but our kids are so different. <laughs> They're not your normal kids. They're like, mommy. Mommy. So before you wrap gifts, <laughs> you mean we got to go to bed? <laughs> so we can't sleep? I mean, we can't see what you wrapping? I'm like, no. Mommy. You wrap gift shit. I'm like, aren't y'all still up? Ooh. So that was like three days of that. Yeah. Mommy, you still ain't wrap presents? Like y'all ain't <laughs> how? The press, you know, YouTube, everybody else <laughs> presents a bunch of everybody else's gifts. I did not wrap until Christmas Eve, late in the morning. Late, 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 late. It was like eleven. I think I finished. It's like eleven, eleven thirty. I finished wrapping gifts about three. Two thirty-three. Mm. I think my favorite time, but uh, what stick, what stands out to me, is the growth mm-hmm. and how our little ones are just basically coming into their <laughs> own. Yeah, like their personalities is yeah. just you can see the opposites in personality now. And you know, I'm a person that does a lot of video recording. <laughs> To see how it was even last year. Oh yeah. To this year. It's like so much like when I tell you these girls They were cohesive this year. So like I think they had a plan. Yeah. It that's what it looked like. It looked like they strategized. They kind of knew, oh, this is the same. Yeah. Oh, we got the same thing. Oh wait, but this is, you know, so that was the one thing that um I did notice with them is um but it was like some stuff like I knew I could not just get different because then you would have had that one kid yeah, so I just got everything not every single thing was the same but most of everything I got was the I same they like, they like pretty much like some of the same thing. yeah pretty much they the like. same things so that was the easy part of shopping and knowing that everything they watch on TV or everything they're interested in, they got a piece of something from those, you know, type of things they're interested in. So I love going over uh, uh, uh Grandma Papa House. Grandma and Papa House, boy. Yeah. That's a whole different um, That's a whole different mm. like and I love them dear. Like yeah. when I tell you That was that was my like uh, yeah, like that was the second best. I mean, yeah, I really loved it. Over yeah, there, you know, spending time with them, and you know, it's like everybody's dealing with some type of yeah. something when it comes to this COVID. But it was good to have a mm-hmm. very good uplifting moment watching movie, and, laughing, you know, laughing jokes. and giggling. <laughs> How family is supposed to be, right? For the most part, a lot of times I think we focus on what's away from us, right? Instead of really putting investment into what's new what's right, right yeah now. and we and they're usually the ones we spend time with anyway for holidays yeah most of the time and so having um you know as much as i would love for you know graham to be here oh. it's you know not really feeling a void but it's taking note of the fam- or, or those that we consider family here and spending that time yeah. so that we don't miss out on time with them as well by the shoulda coulda woulda yeah so um yeah i love that that little time and i think that was probably some of the best like that was like the best double nap oh gosh <laughs> I took one that was good, you know. You took one. I did too. I took one that was good. I took. But I just think that was just after, you know, just overnight of just. Yeah, we were tired. I mean, it was kind of like tiring. I was exhausted. I'll be yeah, honest. You know, it's just I do a lot of praying and, and talking to the Holy Ghost, and mm. I just don't want to do this life without instructions right so that that that's where i'm at right now but let's get into the topic what topic, topic of today is what a gift man, man. Don't, don't start that. 
Before I go, <sighs> girl, wake up. I know. She's bless her heart. Um, topic today. I've been really when I when I come up with when these topics are given to me, and a lot of times it's like because this will actually drop on New Year's Eve. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So. First of all, Happy New wow. Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve. And Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. Um, we might do another video to bring in. Yeah, that Friday. I think Happy we should. Friday. Yeah, we, we could got, do that. We got time. Um, yeah. So, but I've just been praying what to give to the people mm-hmm. before we enter into 2021, 20, mm-hmm. you know, and just been in deep prayer about it, you know. Sometimes I feel like this is a sermon, but <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I think being on being on a podcast, on a podcast with 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 um with I, f- I just feel like people's lives are in our hands. Yeah. So what we say can either make or break a person, right? And I don't want to be the person to just say anything. I want right. to be the person who says what God says do mm-hmm. or what is in the atmosphere to give. You know, I'm cold. Man. But topic is familiarity versus favor. What? I know, right? <sighs> so now you are <sighs> familiarity versus favor. You Googling? Because I ain't got no device. No. Um, and I had a note that says, we chase God's favor away with familiarity. Ooh. Okay. So, basically, I'm going to break that down. That's good. So, basically, whatever he has that is favored for us, that is meant for us, right. we never go for it. Or it never um, manifests because we stay in the, as mom would say, the rigmarole <laughs> um, of what is comfortable, what is um, what is familiar to us. Because if we go after or or follow what he's telling us to follow, we don't know what's going to happen. Right. And so that favor ends up. Delayed I think A lot, a lot of times of, too Like a lot of times it, it is delayed Yeah And a lot of times I think it's denied Yeah I was Yeah you ain't let me finish man Excuse All up me. in my Alice, All up in my stuff I, I get happy about it Me <laughs> But yeah like I can I can see Where we Are so accustomed to The normal Everyday to th- Everyday things that make us feel comfortable And so when the time comes To where God says Hey I need you to move Here right? We don't do it And so We we are Typically denied Or it just takes us A little bit longer to get What he already has in store for us But I know a lot of times they say Delay doesn't necessarily mean Denied not that part. Which one? Delayed is disobedient too. Oh yeah. Because we're taking our time to like God wants us to act right now. Yeah. So if if you said bae. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I had to think about it. <laughs> like uh. but if you said bae, can you go get me such and such because you're closer? I'm going to get up and I'm going to go get it. Mm-hmm. Now, it might take me a minute depending on what it is if I can find uh, it. But, I mean, but I would get up and I would go do it. Yeah. But when God says, hey, I need you to. God, are you, you, you sure you're talking to me? You mean I got to do that right now? I don't know, but I, I think I just need to pray a little bit more about what you praying for. Like, what are you, what is the hesitation? And I might be going off on another side, but what is the hesitation? Because we're obedient and we do everything else without thinking it all the way through. But then the person that already has the plan out laid for our lives, we don't want to follow him or we don't want to obey what he's asking us to do 
or to what pretty I, think, I, think. I mean choice, but at the same time, like mm. I'm gonna tell you why. Mm. Cause a lot of time I think we as believers, I'm talking to believers. Believers. You know, if you non believers want to get this work, you can too. But silly. Um I feel like this. Reason why people don't do it because it doesn't look like they think it's supposed to look. So if if, if God gives the instructions of a, hey, I want you to launch out and start a business. Many can attest to this. Many can. I ain't got the money. Yeah, they look at okay. Who who and, gonna fund this? And they will Lord? testify to say, you know, well, God told me, you know, I'm supposed to start a business, but then. They will sit there and not do nothing. Because then they think, I mean, that's just the, the they forget the part that you got to work. That's where that, I uh, about this. <laughs> not, not, not get out of my bag. Sorry. They uh, work, and that's what I was going to get to, that they forget that with everything you have you to You have to put some put work in. Work. in. Yeah. That's why a lot of times dreams don't come true. That's why a lot of times... A lot of stuff doesn't get done because people are waiting for a certain mm-hmm. thing. But don't get it twisted like God won't move that gift mm-hmm. or whatever you're supposed to do to somebody else. Yeah. And we talked about that on our last podcast is that he he called that. He called that one. Wicked. Really? He called him lazy. lazy. Call him wicked. He told him to give it a give, give his uh his share to the person that had you know the ten shares. Yeah. So he took those talents from that that person. So it's like God has favored us for certain things, but then when we are okay. disobedient, not familiar. It is unfamiliar. It is uncomfortable. We become timid. We question. We hesitate. We do all of these different things. And it's like, for what? But then the crazy part is when we delve into something we want to do. Oh, God, please, Jesus. I just ask that you grant me favor on this. But he didn't tell you to do that. He told you what he needed you to do. Well, and the favor came with was coming with that because he already has destined you to do something that is according to his will and not our own will. That's why a lot of times um being familiar, like I have a thing about being uncomfortable. I always say if, I, if I'm uncomfortable, then I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But mm-hmm. when I'm comfortable and there's no push, there's no type of Tug, there's no type of nothing. Right. Come on now. Anything that comes easy, I'll begin to question it. Because anything worth working for is gonna take work. Right. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take dedication. It's gonna take persistence. It's gonna take commitment. But I don't wanna do that because I don't know. And it's what gonna to take look for. a lot of things <laughs> that matter of fact, it's gonna pull a lot of you out. But that's what we don't want to do. We don't want to lose or feel like we're losing, feel like we're losing a sense of who we are. But you're losing it anyway. <laughs> right. But that's what I'm saying. That's why I say we don't want to feel like that. You're going to lose it anyway. But you're going to lose it anyway because at the end of the day, you could do it all you want to. You could be in a familiar spot all you want to. But when he wants you to move, yes, yeah, a choice. Yeah, he's a perfect gentleman. Yeah, he's not going to force you. But you feel that tug. And that tug makes you go whoop. Okay, I'm following that time. But then you just delayed the process because you could have did that two months ago. And now it's two months later where you just basically wasted some time. Yeah. So it's it's a matter of we want the favor of God. Uh-huh. We we're begging for the favor of God. We're asking him to order our footsteps. We're asking him to open doors. We're asking him to do all of these things. We're asking him to okay, Lord, show me this is my favor. Show me me, God. Show me show me who I am. And you always talk about that's your prayer though. You would always say that's my prayer. Oh, and then when it comes out, I'm going to be real honest. I prayed that prayer and boy, when it showed its face, I was like, "Mm, no, God, it ain't what I meant. But it was what I ended up receiving in the long run. But it pushed me out of that unfamiliar spot. 
comfort zone. It pushed me out of the comfort zone because it was a one. I consider that a bold prayer. Because now you're asking to careful what you pray for, right? You're asking for all of these things, and or you're asking, well, Lord, show me who's supposed to be. Show me if he the one. <laughs> show me if he the one. <laughs> then we show you, you mad because he might not be the one. Give grant me favor, God, and strengthen this and. Sh- but at the end of the day, you're asking him for the favor where he had already begun to show you begun. I did not. Where am I coming from? Sorry, I'm about to go on it. King James, where we coming from? <laughs> but he had already the message you went straight started to. to <laughs> he, hush. He, <laughs> You see, <laughs> he had a, these dozens and thousands. and thousands. These, um, he had already begun to show you who you are. Um, but he had, I mean, God already has, we already have favor on our lives if we are doing what we are supposed to be doing and following according to how we're supposed to be following him, what he has set forth. So, I guess the question would be. If God called you out of your school. <laughs> man, <laughs> Come on, man. Let me talk this. Let me let me teach this thing, man. God called you out of your school. <laughs> are you up and gone? Or uh, uh, what 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 what's your Oh thing? my goodness. Cause your school is your comfort zone. Oh my gosh. Now, hold up. Don't get on here and talk about something. Why you won't do it? You know? <laughs> this, this is when the message begin to kick back. You be like, hey, that I'm not going to say it will be a tough one, but I would I would literally battle with that one. Why? And I would battle with that one because I felt like this was this position was what was bestowed this i was favored for this spot now i do know that there is you know when your time can be up but i would i would really i would wrestle with that one like i would not wrestle with god with that I would, but seriously inside i would just be like man like well what and, and it wouldn't be so much of a question of asking god you know why? But I would re- that would be a tug because at the end of the day, you know, I have a heart for the kids. Why would it be? I, I understand the heart for the kids, but a lot of times, this is this is how I feel like God works. We, God knows our heart. It's a setup. God you knows our heart, right? Up. And if God takes you away mm. from the school. System nine times out of ten, he he's going to put you in right. a better system. But that, and, and I'm gonna be honest. I, I mean, and we've we've gone through this before with positions that I was in. Mm-hmm. It would have to be God moving me. Like it would have I to. Understand? He's he, he's a gentleman. I know, but I'm saying like if it came because, you know, we just went, we went through this, what, four years ago where it was like, okay, Lord, like, what do, what do I do? Here we go. Stop looking like that. (laughs) Every time you give me that look, I already know something about to happen and stop asking me all these questions about my job online. I mean, on podcast. Because. You were very bold in the beginning. That's why I let you talk. Because at the end of the day, it's easy to say. Hey, it's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. Like I'm talking. But I to, would not. I mean, I want people to hear the flip side. The that. flip side of it, the man. The flip side to if God, if the Holy Ghost tell you, your listen, time is up. Your time is up. At it this is time. <laughs> hey, I'd be so distraught. I'd probably cry. I mean, of course, you know. I ugly cry. I mean, <laughs> it's about being uncomfortable to me. Yeah, like, and I know that. I think as much as, 
as much as I love what I do and I would literally without a shadow of doubt do it without being paid and I know that what I offer I am underpaid for it or the things that I have to do or the things that I'm not gonna say I have to do but the things that I extend myself to do um I can say that it is taken is it has began to take its toll mm. in some parts of of me and it it has been a heart tug um and a hard tug and so it is one of those things where it's like okay lord what do where do what do I do in this situation like am I even I mean and I've had access, am I even cut out for this so I think the growth of where I am now, I know that even though that would be a hard thing to face for me, uh-huh. it would be more so of a, okay, God, I, I mean, I have no choice but to trust him. You always got a choice. I mean, That's well, me. I mean, well, I, I feel like, or I, I believe, and say feel like, but I believe that the place that I'm in right now, that I don't even look at the fact that I mean I can choose. No, I I'm gonna just stay. But the fact that I I am looking to walk in God's will for my life and not just walk in my own, that would be just that deciding factor, because. I'm praying for more guidance, more wisdom, more discernment. Like I'm praying for specific <laughs> you things. Care what you pray for, right? But I, I know that. But you know me. You you know your wife well enough, and you know that once I get to a point where I feel like I've mastered stuff, I'm ready for the next level. And so because we both you recognize the first and kind of pointed out to me, but because I now recognize that. I know sometimes it's only a matter of time before God removes me out of a comfort zone. So what God says, okay. <laughs> because this is where I want people to understand. But you why know? you got to use me? Why? Who am I going to use? This copy over here? No. So, but I want you to understand <laughs> that God is like this. And I can speak from this vantage point because I was in a comfortable place. And you got picked and replaced. Comfortable. When I tell you comfortable, I'm talking comfortable. I knew it was going to happen the next day. I knew I knew the ins and out of where I was at. I knew how everybody's, because I'm one of those type of people that study people, their demeanor. I should have been a detective. But yeah, <laughs> I'm one of those people who really like I, I'm a people watcher. You yeah. are. I love how people would tell you stuff without telling you stuff. But it hurt. this is how God is. This, this, this and I I'm learning this on this walk that listen, what you think is permanent. It's not. <laughs> it's far from problem. The mi- the moment you say yes to God, you might as well just say, you know, your something. whole life sometimes will be just that's that. Flipped. Like what I I truly understand that song when it say my life is not my own. Oh, my life is not to you I own. belong. <laughs> like like when you belong to him, and when he say shift. You better shift, and 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 a lot of times this is why we get. I was about to say entrapment, but this is why. <laughs> this Entangled. is why. But this is why we get trapped in certain places, and we can't grow, and we're so miserable because we're seeking for pleasure and something that God is like. No, I, I want you over here. Yeah, but. But I have this this nine to five. I want to do this. Is supplying all my needs, and God is like, listen, I'm the person who supply needs over here. So, like the order of how you got the thing in your life, they say where your heart is is where your treasure is. That's why a lot of times I keep my treasure with God. Like my heart is with God. So I'm like, God, what you want? 
every day for me is, is God what you want. It's not a day. Okay, do you, do you want me to? If God says stop doing this podcast, guess what? I'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the true facts. I'm not gonna be the one saying, "Man, I, I spent the money for this and I spent the money for that." For me, I'm like, so what? Nine times I feel like this. If God say, "Okay, don't do the podcast," nine times out of ten, He got something a whole much, yeah. a whole lot greater for me. A whole like, like for me, He always set me up like that. So when I say <laughs> to you, God says. I want you to turn from your job and go with your husband. What? <laughs> Babe, why are you going? Why are you doing this right now? I'm all the way. Got me reaching we, from we, the mic. We keep it. <laughs> we keep it honest over here. We I just told you it would be a battle. It would be a straight up straight struggle you just told the people i know I what i know told the why people why y'all doing this i don't know you know, when god say do stuff you're supposed um, to do listen, it boo boo faith to- come by hearing and <laughs> hearing by the word of god you know faith is about works you gotta work it <laughs> now <Nah>, listen <laughs> This is what I'm saying. Oh it's my easy. Gosh. Like I don't want to be the person to, to to say that, but then be like when the, when the task come. Now hold up, we weren't talking about me. No, we, God, not not me, not right now. We talking about him over. Talking about you're talking about Stacy over there, <laughs> not but, me or Sister Macaroni. That's a good one. Yes. Yeah. What man? Hey, but this scares her. That's the that's the that's the funny part. That is, it, it's a scary thing. Am I answering this question? Uh, I'm waiting for you. Gosh, so <laughs> come on. What words. if God Faith is unhappy? <laughs> Faith and works. We must change the way can't we sing this walk. <laughs> We must change the way. And this is what we, we do. When God talk. say do so, we try to inter- entertain ourselves with other stuff. <laughs> Come on, I'm in here today. I'm about this, to walk out. I'm, That's what it is. Peace. I'm leaving the podcast. No, I'm not leaving the podcast. No, seriously. It w- I mean, I cannot tell you. I cannot say that it is not going to. It is going to be the easiest thing. In the end, will I do what? He- <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. Like we would in do the, all this. Will you in, say, the, in the end, will in I the do, end, will I will I not do it? Jesus, I'm like God. Are you sure? Right, like right now, like this is you're saying this is it. Because we we talked about a lot of things. Be like we- God. Can you show me a sign that this is it? <laughs> yeah, like, what you want me to do? Collapse the whole building? Yes, <laughs> Lord. Right. It's not a sign. <laughs> that means you ain't <laughs> make a kid. <laughs> Jesus, make a stuff. make a kid like, flip a table. Do something. That's not gonna make you leave. No, it's not. It's gonna make you sit them down to the prison. Yeah, not to make you put them on out. Put them on out and go talk. Have a mama talk enough, with them. You know, but have a come to Jesus meeting with them. And, and, and a lot of times we have these <sighs> conversations. Like, listen. We do, and I, and I always say, like, listen. I just feel like people need people like us to be in position, right? I will say this. This is this is what I will say. Since being on the podcast, since delving in, and we've talked about this too on a previous podcast, but delving into talents that I did not realize that I possessed, or. <laughs> It does open up my avenues like, oh, wow, I could do this or I could do I could be also doing that if I just had more time out of my regular day. Now, um, being in a being not being in a school setting does not scare me. I'll say that I, I will put that on the line. Being in a school setting is not I mean, whatever. I, I enjoy my job. I enjoy teaching in the classroom. But if that is not the place for me and God is leading me to teach in a different capacity, in a different environment, then I'm okay because I'm still able to teach. What if you said don't teach? Oh, Jesus. 
Well, what am I supposed to do? That's why. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Sound like a slave movie. <laughs> what are we supposed to Where do? Where are we supposed Listen. to? But no, seriously, like that is my people. But you know, I mean, by my name. and when I say teach, <laughs> if they, they shall humble, humble themselves. But when I say teach, I don't necessarily mean like reading, writing, arithmetic, reading, writing, math for, you know, I don't necessarily mean that, you know, I always get a pleasure anyway of just whatever knowledge I have and downloading it to others. Or are you saying if God tell me I can't even do that? You can't even teach. You can't go into the school system. No, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm cool with that. Because in a different capacity, this is still a teaching or educating platform. I was hoping that you seen that. Yeah, you know, this is people. still this is still for me an educating platform. So that's what I meant by yeah. that's what I meant by I don't have to necessarily for me, I am enjoying teaching sixth grade ELA. I love it. I prayed for the I literally prayed for that type of job. Mm -hmm. Literally. And I literally <laughs> was favored and I got it without even actually applying the current school, that current school year or with a current application. So because I know that God does hear and answer prayers, it has been something that I have been praying about. And I just, you know, hadn't talked. I mean, it's me and God talking. So I hadn't really kind of talked to you, but it is. Okay. Wow. God. Wow. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that. But I have <laughs> been in that mind of, okay, Lord, I'm heading into year five. Now what? Well. Like that has been, you know, year five for me. Yeah. I'll put it like this. I'll be tenured with the state. Well. So I'll be vested. And so it's like, okay, but in what capacity now are you going to use me to educate? So it's not necessarily what capacity are you going to use me to educate people on English? No, I'm not looking for necessarily the English. If it is teaching adults how to do something, if it is teaching whatever capacity and it not be in a classroom, as long as I am able to educate, as long as I am able to provide the knowledge to people. That is my, cause that's, I mean, teaching in the classroom is just something that I wanted to try out and do, but you got to think, I just like educating people in general. Yeah. And I know that that does not necessarily have to be in a brick and mortar, mortar situation. So you saying that you would leave. If God, if, if it came down to it and it was like, okay, your time is up inside of the school building, it would definitely be, I would be very heartbroken because I love what I love that part of what I do. But would I, would I uproot and leave? Yes, because then I know that God has already set something out in front of me and it is something that I've actively been praying for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it. She said yes. <laughs> so when that time come and I'm I sit on this podcast and I'm crying and without eyelashes, y'all know what happened. Oh, and that may, I mean, and, and you I know see me rocking in my chest, and, and I know that may not be this year. I know it may not be next year, but I know be that. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> be, be careful, like. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this afternoon to this evening's podcast. I say, and we listen, wish you. I say be careful because in the Bible, when they clearly say, I know his ways are not, not our, our ways. ways. Like for a lot of people who have that familiarity with th things have to be this is this is this. No, I'm not okay. saying it has to be within a year. I said it may not be this year, may not be that next year. I didn't say it. I didn't say, okay, Lord, it can't be. I didn't say that. I said it may not be. It is whatever his timing is. I just don't say nothing. It's just, it, it, it's, it's a strange situation. What is and especially when you're hearing from God, being that you've been communing a, a, a whole lot more with God. Be careful. Thank you so much for tuning in to this podcast. Oh, 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 and oh, 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 mom and dad was like, move your hand. <laughs> and I'll be on the phone, mom and dad just boo <laughs> <laughs> He 
Yeah, man, we ain't gonna do it. Really. Your dad only got three minutes. That no, dad will have more than three minutes with sunshine. All nah. I need to be is hysterical. Hey, nah. Yes, I, I guarantee you that. Well, what you gonna do, daughter? No, so that's all you wanna know. Like, we gonna sit here <laughs> talk about the problem, or <laughs> you gonna sit here? I'm gonna just go to mom. Come on, Come on. go to mom. Let her like break it down in my mind. The way mom is right now, I don't know. <laughs> She's she's in a new dimension. Herself. No, I'm not. No, I'm not saying talk. <laughs> no, I'm not saying talk. Talk me into like it's pra- it's the practicality. Like mo- Like it's the practicality of the situation. Well, you need to know like what's next. Not necessarily know what's next, but okay. If this is if this is the thing, can you guys help me to process now how I need to move forward? Well, I can do that right now, man. Until I, I can tell you right now. Thank you so much for tuning. That's mm-hmm. how many. Yes, no. Yes. I, I can tell you right now. I, but no, I don't. This how he's gonna do it. Mm-mm. Um, and what we, is, we're we're gonna uh, end on this. Listen. This is how he would tell you, and this is how he would show you. I know mom probably, mom and dad probably say the same thing. When you were staying with your, when we were staying with your friend, you didn't see the job at uh, am I supposed to stay at the college? Good stuff could cover. Oh, Lord Jesus, you didn't see the apartment. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> I'm in this thing. Come on. Thank um, you so much for <laughs> uh you didn't see the apartment. Come on. Okay. You didn't see the car. You didn't see the house. The second car. Like, you didn't see the third second car. car. You didn't see the third car. <laughs> the like, fourth it's car. a lot. It's, do you know this? I'm about to stand up on this thing. Do it's not a, sit it's down. It's a lot of things that we do not see. But I but and, and like, come on now. Come on, put your blink on before you cut me off. Listen. <laughs> Listen. It's a lot of things that we do not see and that we don't think is going to happen and all this stuff. Whatever you're going through, whatever you feel like is too big and is too tough for you in 2021, get out of the familiar zone. Get out of the comfort zone because the ability to leave is in you. But the thing is, we have to stop looking for a particular thing. Come by <laughs> and rescue us. When God has given you everything you need in this season, plus the next season. So 2021 is about to crack. When you when, when this drop. It'll already be. Are we going to drop it early? Yeah, come on now. Got to drop it early. So when this, when, when this podcast drop, I want you to understand that 2021 is going to be exactly what you make it. Do not take the habits from 2020 <laughs> into 2021. Look, I guarantee you, it's some stuff coming down the pipeline and you cannot afford to be out of sync and get out of sync with what the instruction, what God mm-hmm. is trying to give. If God say move nine times out of 10, it's for a reason. Move. Like when, 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 when God say, okay, move this way, move that way. Nine times out of 10, it, it, it's to protect you. Yeah. He knows that like he manufactured us. He made us. So he know what's good for us. Mm-hmm. He know what's best for us. So 2021, let's take this by storm. Like we we can't bring old habits into this this, this new year. Matter of fact, start before twenty twenty one. I know you won't hear this before, but I, I might just cut a little clip and you know you know you know what we do. But listen, comfort zone is not good. It leads you nowhere. Comfort zone is what got our mom and our parents and everybody else in this stuff. That's why we're not doing better than what we're supposed to be doing. Because we act exactly like our parents. They passed it down and we took it and ran with it. But for me in my house, we're gonna number one serve the Lord and we're gonna live outside of that comfort zone. So for you, I hope you'd say the same thing. Anything you wanna say when we go off there? Like you just preached the whole sermon, dude. Like you're you're supposed to. And uh Anything, any last nuggets you want to give people? Um, whew, that's deep, man. 
I just say that we were in 2020 or we we're ending 2020. We have been quarantined for nine months. Most of us should have been quarantined for at least nine months. And we should have learned something from it. So hopefully it was not spent doing everything under the sun outside of taking a moment to listen to the instructions that are being given. And so for, for me for 2021, the instructions that have been given in 2020, the time that I spent the growth that I I made in 2020 is what I'm planning to take in 2021. So it's not so much always um, habits. Sometimes it's our frame of mind. Sometimes it's our mindset. And that is also one thing we want to remember is that God favors us because we are hit, we are made in his likeness we are his children mm-hmm. so we hopefully <laughs> have learned that in 2020 so when 2021 comes it makes it a little more easier to accept his his will his call on our lives his instructions so that we can actually start moving forward out of the comfort zone will it be an easy thing to overcome it may not be will it be difficult to try to pan you know wonder how things will pan out or wondering if they will will pan out but it is just one of those things where we have to get in the mind frame of truly trusting God and I, I know you you didn't want me singing but that song is just what like you talking about where we literally came from as a couple and looking up, looking forward, it's like, okay, w- I didn't see all of that. So when I do think things over, I can look back and say, oh, you know what? We have been blessed. We have had favor on our lives, despite what the accounts look like despite what the gas hand, <laughs> what the gas hand may have looked like despite what the refrigerator or the freezer looked like we still have been favored and we are still alive and breathing to see the end and we have a good bill of health on top of all of that so for the year 2020 as you close that chapter <laughs> Sorry, y'all. As you as you close that chapter, don't forget the things that you learned. Don't forget the things that were revealed to you, but take them over into 2021 and go into it with fuel that will ignite you, that will last throughout the entire year without the hesitation, without the being timid. Is it uh, easier said than done. Yes, it is easier said than done. I, you see, I, I stumbled trying to answer the question. Um, but this is that time where God is speaking to all of us. We must check our heart. We must check our relationship with Him, and we must be ready to listen and obey and move when He says it is time for us to move. Definitely. So, um. We just thank you and we're so grateful for um, all of the, 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 you know, the followers on YouTube, the listeners on podcasts, um, the likes, the comments, the subs, the share, you know, all of that, the feedback that we're getting from um, different people that are viewing that we're not even aware um, that we're viewing, um, but For us, this platform is just so that we can encourage you with things that we have learned. It is not something that we're we're not putting up a facade. Um, Yes, I speak boldly, but I am too like 
I I faced those same like, ooh, wait a minute, that's a change. Oh, okay, wait a minute, let me. So it's not like, and we talked about changes too, but it's not like it's so easy for us to do it because sometimes we don't even know what to expect. Uh, he moves faster than I do. I'll just be honest. His type of faith is just stupid faith. It's just, it's just crazy. And so when God tells him to move, he automatically will move, um, without even a shadow of a, like, an uh, inkling. Um, I learned that obedience. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he is obedient to art. a T. Me, I am, uh, analytical. <laughs> And so um, it it is sometimes it's hesitant, but we don't want you to think that we are on this podcast for um, any reason other than uplifting, encouraging and motivating. So as uh, 2020 ends, we want you guys to uh, continue to tune in, continue to uh, watch, like, subscribe. Podcasters, we thank you. Continue to um, play us in your vehicle, play us on your devices. Um, and we will continue as long as it's in God's will to put out content um, to help you um, based on what we have learned and what we have gone through and share that wisdom with you all. Yeah, and um we're just two imperfect people. We are trying to walk trying this trying to walk process. This. Yeah, it is. And if you understand that this life it's a marathon, yeah. not a spring. It's not. So So to God be the glory for everything we're doing. Yes. Um, we appreciate all the love you guys we do. are showing you from the with the family videos. Um it's more to come. Um, mm-hmm. We've been asked to do a lot more uploading. I guess people like us. I guess. <laughs> we, they like us. They like us. Not so, just. like we always say right about this time, keep God first. And the rest will we'll be, be at it. We love y'all. Have a we love great, you. great weekend. Don't do nothing crazy. Please don't do nothing Please. crazy. Stay be inside. safe. <laughs> Be safe, mask up, sanitize, hey. wash hands, all that stuff. So you can listen to the next podcast. Yes. I might be a little bit more, not so aggressive. No, he's but, not. Let's see, I'm 100. <laughs> what if God...